Chalk here, and I'm back with yet another Clash Royale video. So today I'll just be going over my new Hog Free Zap deck. Um, I just recorded a um, balance changes video. So today um, I will be going over yeah this Hog Hog Zap deck. They did nerf the freeze, but that is coming on May 18th. So I'm just going to go over it right now. So we'll hop into some of the replays that I showed in the balance changes one. But, um, yeah. Here is the deck. We have a Hog Rider, Zap, Freeze, Minion Horde, Goblins, Arrows, Cannon, and Elixir Collector. One thing I do not like about this deck is that I don't have that much stuff to push with. As you can see, um, we have the Hog and the Freeze, and I usually get that in my starting hand. So, if I were to change one thing, I'd uh, upgrade these Spear Goblins really quick and just throw them into the deck. But, right now, it's been working pretty well for me. So... Yeah, just ignore these two because um, these were just um, friendly battles. These two, Dune, Dune Horse and Kingslayer. So, um, yeah, we're going to be watching through these battles and going in depth and using our um, analysis. So, as you can see, this is a terrible hand um, Goblin, Zap, Minion, Horde, and Cannon. So, I have nothing else to do but put my cannon down. And then I cycle back. Um, I use my Goblins. He uses his Goblins. And then we're just going to take these Goblins out because I have to cycle through. And then he zaps it, and then I freeze too early, made a bad mistake, and now he's he's on the push. So we have to take out this hog rider, and look at that minion doing some serious work. Um, yeah, so he ended up winning the trade there, but um, now we have our elixir pump. We cycled all the way back to it. So we're going to put our elixir pump down, and we're going to try to get this hog push going. Okay, hog push. Just a simple hog push. We're going to see what he can do. And I realize that it's not worth freezing there. So I do not end up freezing. And I zap the hog rider and ice wizard. So I can um, stop the push. So now we have another hog push. And he shuts it down with his goblins and cannon. So good defense on his part. He's still winning um, the battle so far. But I'm pumping up on him. He has no pumps. And we put our cannon down to defend. And then now we have another cannon, so we stop that. We end up going to the other side. And our hog does some serious work. So he puts another hog down, and I end up freezing the hog. And it takes out the hog push really easily with the cannon. So next, we put another hog, and that attack fails. He puts his hog, and we try to shut it down with minion horde, and we do it successfully. Now we, our hog gets to the tower, and he makes a big mistake, and our hog just ends up striking um, a couple of times, and then it gets the tower down to 199. So next, he tries to put another one down, and then our goblin just ends up getting it. So yeah, we played some excellent defense. We switched it up. Instead of going to the left side, we went to the right side, and he, we um, kept him on his toes the whole time. So we applied enough pressure. Um, these are all friendly battles. Yep, friendly battles. And next we'll go into this game against Sparky. So it's a really good match against Sparky. Um, showing you guys how to defeat the Sparky. So this is a terrible hand. I'm going to just put down a hog randomly. I mean, I have nothing else to do. Uh, I put down a minion horde to counter the royal giant. and ended up zapping the minion horde. And now he has a whole minion horde. And it's just taking down his tower. It's left with 55 HP. So really good stuff right there. Um, he had nothing to stop the minion horde. So now we put down our elixir pump. He puts down a giant. I'm ready. I have a cannon. So we're going to wait and put down our cannon. He puts down a sparky. And I make the bad mistake of putting down a hog rider. Sparky just takes it out here. And then we have our ace card, the freeze. And we just take out sparky really easily here. And then he gets a few shots in with his wizard, which is fine. Um, no no uh, sparky shots. And then he puts down his hog rider. I put down my cannon, but that did not work so well. Now we're going on a pick, uh, pick push, and we take the tower with one hog swing. So now we're just going into defense mode. We're going to start pumping up again, and we're going to put down our minion horde to stop this sparky. And his wizard is still alive and his sparky, so it's not looking good for us right now, but we put down our goblins and our minion horde, and it ends up doing a good job. Now he puts down his royal giant. I counter it perfectly with the cannon, and he cannot do anything so now we freeze the sparky which is a really good counter and then he ends up um just putting down a hog rider so yep 
that is a perfect example of how to counter spike you just freeze it so it can't do anything even if he has a wizard behind it um so yeah great example of how to counter spike you so this was a draw i showed it in my other video but let's just look at some wins real quick um so this is uh, an okay, a decent starting hand. We we obviously have the elixir pump, so that's what we're gonna play first. Now we're just going to go on a hog push, and we're gonna zap so we can get in one shot. One shot, that's it. So he puts down a balloon, catches me up by surprise, but luckily I take it down before it gets to my tower. So really good play by, by me there. Now we have another elixir pump, so we're just generating elixir advantage at this point. And we put down a hog, and he's going to freeze our hog. So I zap back, and I get two shots in, so that's decent. Then I put down a cannon and try to take out this um, this giant really quick. And I do it successfully. So right now, I'm winning the battle. Um, he, bu he puts down his barbarians, and that's a huge mistake. The hog rider just ends up hammering the tower and he takes it down to 143 hp so he does a really nice job here um he puts down the balloon and he freezes i ended up zapping just so um the, the balloon doesn't get in another shot off and then i send a hog down just one shot and it takes it out so at this point we're just trying to defend right now um we um we're gonna zap no we're not gonna zap okay we're gonna zap the balloon then draw it over and then um he ends up freezing which is a pretty good play but i have the elixir pump it just tanks for me so yeah, he has a lot of stuff coming, but I just arrowed it off. So yeah, he had a pretty good balloon push, but I stopped it by um, zapping it and then using my minion horde or what else I have. Let's go over one more battle. Okay, um, another royal giant deck. They're really popular, but they're going to get nerfed, um, as you can see in my other video. Okay, so we have Elixir Pump, always want to start off with that. Um, and he actually does have the rocket, which is a really good counter to Elixir Pump. Um, very solid. So now we have nothing else to do but put our Minion Horde down. He stops it fairly well by using the Barbarians to tank. And Archers. Archers are a great counter to Minion Horde. They take it out really fast. Really nice counter. And the cannon just cleans up. Really good work by the cannon there. And then he makes a mistake of putting the um, Inferno Tower too late, so I get in tons of damage off on the tower 1033 left and i just used the minion horde to clean up so next he arrows my minion horde and it's at a standstill right now i do have my elixir pump so i want to put that down first he puts down a royal giant in the back so i have time to counter it and i end up pushing on the left um i do not freeze or zap but i do counter the royal giant with my cannon um unfortunately the cannon doesn't last long enough so the royal giant does get a few hits off but I am on the offensive again, and I have my Hog Rider, and he gets in three hits to take off the tower, take down the tower, and he does put arrows on my, um, arrows on my minion horde, but I do follow it up with a freeze, and I try to take down these barbarians really quick, and now I'm back on the attack with a hog push. So yeah, pretty good defense right there, um, the Royal John did get off a few hits, but pretty good defense, yes. So yeah, that's basically the cheap hog freeze deck, another version. Um, there are multiple versions like this one, as you can see in like the top leaderboards, a lot of people are using this one. And this is just my own little variant, um, hog freeze zap. It's working pretty well for me, but the, unfortunately the freeze is getting nerfed. But um, it's only by one second, so um, I'm gonna have 5.6 if I upgrade my to level three freeze. And then it's going to go down, so that's going to be 4.6. So it's a little less than a, a level 1 freeze. So it's only going to be like 0.4 less than a level 1 freeze if you do the math. So I don't. I hope that's not too like detrimental to this hog freeze deck. I, I still want to try it after the nerf, but we still have some time to, um, to test out this hog deck. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please try this deck strategy. Um, see if it works for you and comment down below. So this is Shock signing out. Bye-bye.